we had just gone over that pass like two days right. before that snow fell, and you know it was clear as a bell. Well, you listened to my forecast. Didn't okay. You? No, I'm no. Well, I was down there, <laughs> so I couldn't. But. Well, it didn't rain today, but some parts of California are still picking up the showers. The low itself is near Santa Barbara. Let's show you the West Coast. There are still a few rain showers in the southern third of the state, but for the most part, we cleared up. Although we didn't see a lot of sun in Sacramento, it was fairer in the foothills and up towards Yuba City, where it was kind of a decent day today. Temperatures not very warm, but certainly it was a break from the rain, but it's going to come back in a big way. The extended forecast is a soaker. So far this season, we've had 12.93 inches of rain. We're at 181% of the norm. Normally, we'd be a little over 7 inches by this point. Our season starts July 1st, runs until June 30th, and the reason we break it off there is because in the middle of winter, it'd be pretty hard to just set a cutoff on December 31st because that is the middle of our rainy season. So in Sacramento, we catalog our data a little bit differently, and the rain is still going to come back in the next week or two. So we're still going to tally up some totals. Thursday through Sunday, heavy rain, heavy snow and low snow. That'll be different than the last system. We had nine feet of snow in the Sierra. Well, this one may not bring nine feet, but if you continue to see snow from Thursday through Sunday, you're bound to rack up at least a few feet of snow. But the low is coming from a much colder position. This time it's a different track, and as it brings uh, the low snow on board, the temperatures are a lot cooler, so the snow level potentially could go down to about 2,000 feet. Now, that's only a chance, and that would be after Friday, after the first wave hits. It starts off kind of lightly, Thursday and Friday, and then gradually in Increases and we're looking at a Sierra snow weekend. I mean, maybe road closures and all that. Let's check the temperatures in Sacramento right now here at News 10. It's 48 degrees. There's a light southwesterly breeze. The humidity stands at 80%, pressure 29.87. In Roseville, it's 47 with only light winds. In Stockton right now, 49 and calm. Only one hundredth of an inch of rain for Modesto where it's 48 degrees. Overcast in Elk Grove. Fog is a possibility tonight. Davis 47 for the current temperature, a hundredth of an inch there since midnight. Most of the heavy weather is over for now, so enjoy the break. Placerville, 40 degrees, and sorry, no report from Pollock Pines. We need to get a Pollock Pines weather observer. All right, let's fly on into the coast and take a look at the temperatures and the forecast. A few light scattered showers, but only about a 20% chance. We may be seeing mostly cloudy skies, possibly some fog tonight. Not a lot warmer with highs in the upper 40s to low 50s across northern California. The temperatures won't change much, and we don't see any heavy rain coming until late Thursday. So there's still a period here where you can clean things up, get outside, run some errands. It won't be as wet, but by the time we get through a five-day forecast, it's pretty soaking. Folsom, 50 degrees. Auburn with a high of 45. It'll be 50 in Roseville. And for the foothills, light winds, overcast skies. A few breaks of sunshine between the foothills and the Sierra during the day tomorrow. Highs at the crest will be in the 30s. Overnight lows in the single digits to teens. All right, here it is. Wednesday and Thursday, scattered showers. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I'm calling for heavy rain, cold temperatures, maybe some low snow, and really another blizzard potential for the Sierra all the way through the weekend. Well, the lines were long, but we really tried to help as many people as we could all over Northern California today at the Salvation Army on Weber Avenue, just east of downtown Stockton. They had 5,000 coats on hand. People were waiting, but they came in in an orderly manner, and they got the coats that they needed. Isn't that terrific? Right. That is great. It's always our best it day is. with the coat it is. giveaway. It's fun. Thank you, Alyssa. Okay. Well, the national championship game will be at the top of the hour, and Will Silva joins us more with the Orange Bowl. Yeah, I was just in Florida, and the place is buzzing in Miami, that's yeah. for sure. And USC quarterback Matt Liner talks about the big game and hear what he thinks of his Orange Bowl opponent, Oklahoma. And Kings guard Bobby Jackson is on the mend from wrist surgery. Find out what Sacramento's next move will be to replace him next.